Yeah, let's talk about this dev update. It just dropped as of uh, six minutes ago. So let's talk about this for a second. I'm going to read it, get everybody's feedback, and uh, let's, let's dive into this. This is really exciting stuff. Dev update number six, springing into Steam. Hello, Paleans. Notice something a little different? We've decided to start numbering our updates. We're shaking it up and changing some things, namely the expected cadence of these updates. Rather than trying to stick to a fixed monthly post, we figured let's share these updates when it makes sense. So whether that's one update in a while or several in a row, we didn't want to be holden. We didn't want to be beholden to a self-imposed guideline. That said, odds are you can expect to hear from us a bit more frequently. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about Steam release in patch 0 0.178. Hey, Kaslin. Hey, Anne. Hey, Sarah. Welcome in. Let's talk about this in real time. So just in case you haven't heard, Paley is heading to Steam March 25th at March 25th is just around the corner, and if that wasn't enough, the Steam release will also be bringing in our next patch, 178. I kind of figured this would happen. Um, why not, right? If they're going to be releasing to Steam, to time that with another release would just make way too much sense. So uh, everyone at S6 has been hard at work making sure things are ready, whether you're a well-versed Paleon already playing on one of our current platforms or looking to check things out for the first time once we're on Steam, we're so excited to welcome everyone home to Paleo. My guess is that uh, we'll have the Steam Deck support. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some things to deal with that, uh, but otherwise, hey, it's it's you're going to be able to play on your Steam Deck, which is pretty cool. Um, I have one, and I'll let y'all know how it works. Uh, in case you have any questions regarding Paleo and Steam and what that entails, be on the lookout for a future blog post, which should have some FAQs in store. But we're sure the question folks want answered is what's in store for the next patch. The theme for the patch is all about spring. Let's go. Temple of the Roots. Look at this. Look at this. I wonder, I mean, we'll learn a lot more about this, but it looks like this is going to be a lot more about flow. Hey, Cap, welcome in. Uh, we're sure players might have seen signs already of the next temple in store, and that is none other than the Temple of the Roops. <laughs> hey, Adi. I don't know why, but my brain goes to blame it all on my roots. Anyways, uh, one of our goals for the Temple of the Roops was to take into account the experience players had with previous temples and improve based on that feedback with new techniques and approaches to the way the space is built. Thank goodness. Uh, as always, this will be a new and exciting experience, but should also feel more guided than the Temple of the Gales. For example, we added some flowers to indicate that you were in the main area of the temple to help with decorations. It'll also be the first time some new mechanics are introduced that we'll be utilizing in future update, in future temples and zones. Thank you, Eris. Uh, and while we don't want to spoil too much of the story, let's just say fans of Galders will have something to look forward to waiting for them. I don't know what that is, but hopefully somebody uh, can tell me what that is. Many don't do temples because it's confusing. Yeah, I, I get that. Will this be the last temple? No, but we won't say more just yet. Suffice to say, the overarching story of Paley is only just the beginning. I think I'm predicting that there's got to be more than just Bahari and Kilima for an MMO. Just, I mean, they're making these big separate spaces, temples. I mean, there's got to be more to that. Uh, updates to climbing. Oh, boy. We've gotten a lot of feedback, I'm sure you have, in regards to climbing in the game, being able being able to explore and navigate the world of Paleo is an important part of the overall experience. So for the next patch, we'll be adding in the first of several changes behind the scenes that ultimately will result in an improvement to climbing and traversal in the game. Ah, thank you, Adi. Thank you. Uh, flowers and tree system. 
flowers. One of the top most requested features players have had is the addition to more outdoor decor options. We've heard about these in the Q&A sessions. Uh, and we've answered that call with a brand new feature. Simply put, we're calling it flowers and trees, but there's nothing simple about it. Now players can finally decorate your housing plot with a lush array of flora. Insects will have a chance to drop flower seeds, which you can then plant on your housing plot. Of course, flowers need watering to grow. Your flower will start at a sapling stage and then need to be watered alongside some time passing in order to reach its fully grown stage. We have flowers. <laughs> Let's hope these, I'm going to catch up on chat real quick. Uh, hey, Acton, how's it going? Let's hope these coming updates are better than the last. I'm just saying. Flowers and trees. Flowers. Flowers are exciting. The temples are confusing and the bundles are too reliant uh, on difficult items to obtain. I've yet to get the kit suit in Silverwing. Sarah, you and I are in the same boat climbing updates uh we will never leave our plot now i know just watering all of the flowers but you got to go leave your plot to get the flowers now here's what's cool i read this a little bit uh had a little bit of a preview the thing about paleon flowers however is that they are everlasting once they're fully grown you can pick them up move them around and arrange them uh-oh if that wasn't enough, all fully grown flowers will have a 100% chance to drop one, and note just one seed of that flower type. So it won't be long before you have a lush garden right in your backyard. So that means you can populate or propagate your flowers. As for tree seeds, they will still have a chance to drop when you drop down their equivalents in the wild, but we've done a lot of work to freshen up the experience as you plant the seed. Trees have four stages and like flowers, will also need water and time to pass as they go through each stage. That's a big deal. When we plant the trees, they're always fully grown, but this means that we can have different stages of trees, uh, different heights. In it, at any stage though, you can choose to stop growing the tree. If you're a fan of a particular look, they can be chopped down at any point too for resources. Check this out. So, wow, look. Baby tree. Teenage tree, adult tree, grandpa tree. It's pretty cool. Where's your Monstera? <laughs> uh, I gotta start clearing items so I can add flower. I know, right? I foresee the flower only plot for growing out. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Bushes with the oak. I think they were inspired by Animal Crossing or favorite is the Juniper. Yeah. <gasps> spring decor in order to celebrate the new flowers and trees system being added we've also added in a fresh outdoor theme set look at look at this look at this let's let's open this image in a new tab look at this y'all i know you some of y'all have seen some of the things already um because they had a little glitch but look we have this rock tower looking thing we have a chimney it looks like the uh the garden the little short fence, a wheelbarrow, like a ground lamp. But look at this. Oh my gosh. Purple flower pergola. I have to say pergola. You're already obsessed. Yeah, we're finally getting the lights in this update. Uh, then we can go over. Look at this bench, y'all. Look at this bench. This is such a cute bench. We have this little fire pit. A swing, yes. The swinging bench, I could actually cry. <laughs> oh. It's okay, we're here for you. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of really cool things. I'm happy to see all of these things added. And there's this nice little archway too. little simple archway. Can't wait to see what wonderful screenshots of the kind of backyards Paleons will make with these new additions. Now look at these wedding gown and suit outfits. Weddings in spring go often hand in hand, which is why we're introducing two new wedding themed outfits with some unique effects. There's a special interaction when multiple players have the outfit equipped and are gathering together. Oh, flowers will grow and bloom with more appearing when up to five players with these outfits are nearby. How sweet. 
is there a date on this? This is going to be this uh, the Steam update, uh, March twenty fourth, March twenty fifth, depending on what time zone you're in. So, not long, like next week. But yeah, check out these like these flowers grow up around people. We're gonna have to have just like a big old flower party. But how many of y'all are gonna get these outfits if you can? Like this is crazy, crazy in a good way. I like the darker the darker outfits. And of course, of course, this would not be complete with without talking about Frogbert. It's not too late yet to wish list Paley on Steam if you haven't already. And our Frogbert wishlist campaign is still underway. We're so excited to see the community's reaction. All the really fun memes and references to Frogbert have been incredible to see. That's why we've decided to include an additional gift to Paleans in the form of... Huh? What's that? What do I hear? Boss music? Oh my god, look how big that is. That's huge. It's the, it's the mega boss, the scary frog king. <laughs> Ah, uh, just kidding. We might have gotten a little too carried away. That said, if we do reach our end goal of 500,000 wish lists, we might be able to accommodate something that we know players are sort of love. That was a lot. Of course, these are just a handful of all of the incredible things we're adding to dot one seven eight. What's more, in, there's more in store, and we can't wait for players to check out check it all out alongside our Steam launch. Other stool, other cool stuff in the future. Last but not least, we want to share some additional teases we have for future content beyond 178. Take a look. This is the soft roadmap. Let's actually look at it a little bit zoomed out first. So, in development. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So, let's let's actually zoom in now. Look at these building elements. Look at these building blocks. That's nuts. Get creative with building blocks and structural decor. Yeah, this that's right, Axon. We're going there next. Two story houses. How crazy is that? I'm gonna be so busy. I'm gonna be so busy. I gotta go upstairs now. <laughs> Level five friendships. We have a new map grid that'll be helpful for helping people navigate. Uh, an ammo pouch, and then we're gonna have wooden and stone pathing options. Oh my goodness! You're dead. You have expired. So much stuff. This is, uh, and we don't really know. We don't really know when these are going to take place, but they know that they're going to be like probably within the next few updates. Uh, but that's it. So Q and A. Finally, last section to round up some additional FAQs we've seen some from players. How often will the Maji Market come back? The Maji Market is an event that comes back twice per year. There are two different themes. You'll see a more traditional version during the Luna New Year and then a more casual form sometime around late summer or early fall. What remains the same and what changes will vary, but please note that we'll continue to bring back Rotate and add new rewards with each regular appearance. Yes. Yes. I mean, it's not going to be... This is the stuff is not going to be in the next update, but it's going to be beyond the next update, just to clear that up. Is there a reason why certain bugs take such a long time to get fixed? I'm going to read this, and then I'll give you all my theory. Uh, we are doing our best to resolve issues, but there are a lot more processes and things involved, especially when it comes to a multiplayer game that is cross-platform compatible. Some things that might appear like simple bugs might not have easy fixes, or things develop that require more effort to resolve properly. That is to say, we greatly value and wish to resolve bugs, but sometimes it is not so simple, so we appreciate players for being patient and understanding. Bugs are very challenging. And what what actually I, I do agree with this, what may seem like simple on the surface, um, things that you might consider are cosmetic are they they can be hellish to fix because maybe what's actually causing that bug is a lot deeper rooted 
you know, it's not just one thing to just fix the thing that you see, but you want to be able to fix it to where nothing else happens uh, again. That's all right, Ellie. We will we'll go over this again. And we'll also have the VOD, and I will cross post this to uh, to YouTube as well. Um, are there plans to expand on the current community features? Will the max membership cap be raised? So they're having trouble with this. Um, well, this actually the next one, but yes to both. Though at this time, we don't quite have more details to share. It's something we know many players would love to see more social features. And the community is a great avenue for that with lots of room to be expanded. I honestly wish that they did this sooner, considering that is a MMO, uh, you know, and, and, and it's limited to 25. Um, so I, 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 I won't say anything more about that. Um, I feel like that's one of those things that's kind of quintessential for MMO is that sense of community. Um, so, you know, for now, it's just kind of a, a glorified chat window. Uh, why is the max number of friends currently capped at 200? Due to some sec technical limitations, we have set the cap at 200. Please note this cap actually applies to include pending requests, so make sure to clear those, that, clear those out if you need a bit more space. But yes, I just wanted to jump in and give you all uh, just kind of go over this, because this, I had a, I was in the right place at the right time to see this drop and wanted to hop on real quick and just kind of tell y'all all about it. Um, but I will be cross posting this to YouTube. Uh, don't forget uh, later this uh, morning, afternoon, depending later this time zone, uh, we'll be doing takeoff Tuesday and we'll be doing some uh, continued adventures there. But let's see who is hitting the 200 Fred Fred max. That's a good question. Um, a lot of the content creators are. Uh, I don't think I've hit that yet, but it can be kind of frustrating if you're trying to start a community and organize people and that kind of thing, um, and then get errors and you don't really know how. <laughs> I mean, I haven't haven't hit that yet, but um, I know it can be kind of kind of hard, especially like not knowing what that is. But let's recap real quick. So this will be kind of the, the new thing they're going to be having uh, for the Steam patch, which is going to be March 25th. We'll just say March 25th. We have the Temple of the Roots. They've added uh, some new things here that's going to be making this temple a little bit easier to navigate based off of the feedback they got from the other temples. Hopefully they fix the other temples too. Um, they're going to be fixing climbing. They have new flowers and trees. These flowers you can grow and you can actually propagate uh, flower farms. Um, you're going to have uh, multiple sizes of trees that you can grow. So you can actually have full size trees on your plot now. You'll have to water them. Uh, there's a new spring decor set, spring favor decor set. Lots of lovely things here. We'll just kind of, you know, scroll through this real quick. Look at this prettiness here. More prettiness. Lots of fun things. I like this little rock, uh, rock tower. I'm really excited to see what y'all cook up uh, with this. We also have this uh, swing, which is really, really cute. And lots of little archways and stuff. And this may not even be the full picture. They There probably will be more than just that. Wedding and gown suit outfits. And if we have more, like if you have like five people wearing these outfits, these little flowers pop up around the ground, which is fantastic. Yeah, plants and trees makes me very, very happy. <laughs> of course, Frogbert. They've talked about Frogbert um, a lot. And we have uh, in development building blocks. So there's going to be more building blocks. There's going to be pathing, different types of pathing. They're adding a map grid for easy uh, navigation. Uh, you're going to have a separate ammo pouch, upgrading friendships to level five, two-story houses. Didn't notice the string lights. Yeah, they're coming back. And that is it. Um, if you want to see it in person, just go ahead and 
that link is not a secret that is out there for people to consume. I am offended commit and I will see you all for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.